Hello friends, my name is Alex Grekis and I want to welcome you to the Finding Lost Civilization series. Today we're going to journey to a place called Centennial Spring, which is located in Inyo County, California, in an area known as the Coso Mountain Wilderness Area. Today our journey begins at Lower Centennial Spring by a historic cabin called the Astro Arts Cabin, which was formerly a miner's cabin located at the bottom of a dry creek bed which ascends to Upper Centennial Spring. It is about a two mile trek with a gentle elevation gain of about 800 feet where it opens up to a small plateau or valley type area. And it is at this location that we are going to be able to see the symbols left behind by ancient man. Well, as uh, we walk around this area, uh, there's a lot of evidence that uh, horses are here and uh, you ask yourself well why are the horses gathering here uh, why are they coming here we found two dead ones in the area look at this directly in front of us again evidence that horses come here now these horses are the wild mustangs and the reason is right there before us there it is there's water and this is probably the only water hole from many many miles from around here so this is why the animals congregate here but it's also a dangerous spot for them because the mountain lion knows that animals other uh, creatures come here for water so this is a really good uh, i would say ambush spot for the uh, we'll call it the top apex predator in this area oh my goodness look at this another dead horse in a stream area Well, these are the wild mustangs of the open range here. It's hard to say, uh, did this uh, horse die from disease? Was it attacked? Um, difficult to say. I don't see any wounds on it, so to speak. Uh, you know, maybe it died from thirst. Aside from evidence that uh, horses are here, uh, we're finding a lot of what we call lithic scatter. And uh, most of it is, or I should say actually all of it, is obsidian. So you ask yourself, well, why? Why is the obsidian lithic scatter here? Well, this is also a good place for the ancients to come and hunt and actually live because water is pretty scarce in this region. So this is a really unique spot in this uh, high desert area.
Well, in front of us, we have a very interesting boulder. Right here on the face, you see about uh, five bighorn sheep. But where the boulder takes a right hand, 90 degree turn right over here, are another series of bighorn sheep. And you can see these two top ones facing that big one right here to the left. Well, before us, we have a large uh, boulder with two mortars in there. And the interesting thing is normally in a desert area, you'll find what they call grinding slicks or matate because they don't have big seeds. They, they have small seeds, grasses and whatnot. But up here in this high elevation, because we're at about four to 5,000 feet, they have pinion nuts. And my assumption is this is where the pinion nuts were processed. So this is uh, really fascinating uh, to find this right here at this site. And as an example, what I'm gonna do is turn around right over here, and right directly in front of us uh, is the uh, uh, pinion tree. And this is the, uh, uh, the nut from the pinion tree uh, that they used to grind at these uh, mortars that we have just seen. Well, right now we're on Old Indian Trail and we've seen a, a bunch of uh, petroglyphs and grinding slicks and look at this right here sitting alone on this boulder here is what's called a mano this is the tool or the implement that was used to grind the seeds on these slicks you would hold it like this and then you'd grind away one of the aspects of a stone like this it's very smooth and sometimes when you do the edges right here you can feel the roughness but this definitely is uh, what's known as a grinding stone or a, a mono. And again, this is how it would be held and used in this manner. 